Hey coaches, welcome to my YouTube channel. Appreciate you tuning in. If you paid attention yesterday, you know this week is all about Buck Sweep. And I've done this a few times, but I've had a, a couple people ask me to, to go through it again. So we're walking through the Buck Sweep, the potential problems, some potential solutions you may run. Uh, today we'll be talking about a shaded nose. So if you're looking this week, here's what I'll be going through. Play side issues, nine technique we talked about yesterday nose today, tomorrow, blitzers, the next day if you're outnumbered. And then we're gonna flip our attention the last half of the week to look at backside issues. Backside inside linebacker, backside outside linebacker, backside interior defense alignment, backside exterior defense alignment, all the different potential issues. How do you answer those? I'm running this specifically from my offense. And if you have more interest in running what we are running, I've got a lot of material available, fbcoachsimpson.com. You can reach out to me, fbcoachsimpson at gmail.com, or you can get my entire Gun T RPO series. If you go to CoachTube, it's on there, and I can help you out. Give, uh, let me know if I can do anything to, to help you in that realm. You can also subscribe to my channel just by clicking down below over here, and that'll make sure you're getting to see some of this. And so, today we're gonna talk about one problem with Buck Sweep being a shaded nose or potentially just a very dominant nose, okay? So a couple things that you need to understand the way I think, and I think this is things that you could use for whatever play you're wanting to run, be it power, be it zone, be it whatever. Anytime you create a double team somewhere, somebody else, there's a good chance they may not get blocked. So you create a double team, the idea being we're gonna double and come off, Somebody's gonna come off, and, and we've worked really hard to be pretty good at double teams. I feel like we've made a lot of improvement in that area. That being said, anytime you double team, that's tougher to, to get to a second level. And so what we are trying to create when we double is a vertical push and a horizontal push so it becomes extremely clear whose job is what. We're also trying to create a, uh, make it very clear who's gonna be coming off on the linebacker. So, if we're getting a double team, we understand how we're gonna come off on him. So, if you have a shaded nose, there's a couple things that you can do to potentially help what you're doing. One, if your strong tackle is talented enough, okay, he can come all the way down and get a chip on that nose on buck sweep. Okay, so if the guard is pulling, if there's no one else in the gap, so there's nobody else in his gap, so his rule, is gap down backer and there's nobody there. So depending on the ability of our strong tackle, we can either tell him to just run down, gap down and don't even come off to the linebacker and we will RPO the backside linebacker. Because you gotta understand if you're gonna double team, you're gonna tell him don't come off, then you gotta RPO or you gotta unblock defender somewhere. So that's something we'll tie into with backside issues later on in the week. So we can just say, block gap down. So that way we ensure that we get that block. So we get a vertical push and then we get a horizontal seal. Okay, so we're sealing him off to run buck. And if that guy is their best player, we want to make sure we get him blocked. Okay, if your strong tackle is good enough, he can do this and come off. So we can go gap down backer. We want you to give a little bit of help and run through the deep hip, so the back hip or the butt, okay, of that nose. So on his way to backside linebacker, we're gonna chip and work to backside linebacker for our seal. So those are two ways you can run handling a nose. We have not, because of ability level, run what, we would, what a lot of teams will call switch, but you could also run a switch call with your strong tackle and your strong guard where now you're strong guard and tackle, you can either flip, actually literally flip personnel, like flip guys, or they can just switch responsibilities, where now my guard is going to block here and the pull kick will happen with the tackle. That's dependent upon, of course, what you're working with. I'm not as a big a fan of that, simply because of ability level for our players, but it is a possibility. It is an answer that you can put into your toolkit as you work towards running buck. So you can go gap down only with your strong tackle. You can make a switch call 
and go gap down backer and get a chip. And then a couple other subtle things you can do. You can shrink your splits on the play side to get your tackle closer to that player so that he can get that block a lot easier. So those are a couple different ways we handle a shaded one or a really, really talented nose, okay? Of course, there are other things we can do as far as play calling that'll help, but if we wanna run buck and that guy's a problem, that's something we can do. Appreciate you tuning in. Again, if you'd like more information, you can find it uh, in my system, the Gun TRPO system, or you can subscribe to this channel however you wanna find your information. Appreciate it.